thank you for taking time out of your busy, uh, busy life to come uh, to listen to us share our stories and hopefully help some of you. Um, concussion history, um, I know a little bit about it. Um, I played competitive sports my entire life, but I guess my first real concussion, um, uh, I grew up in Ontario and back in the day they used to let you play junior hockey at a pretty early age, at age 14, I believe it's up to 16 now. And uh, a 20 year old rode me in the board from behind and when I woke up, the trainers uh, said I didn't know where I was, I didn't know what city I was, didn't know if I had my car with me or not. Um, after that, um, we basically charted uh, many, many concussions with my sports, um, dating back to um, after I did, um, I guess how to say it is, uh, about 20 major concussions, and so they've added up over the time. Um, how did I know I first had a problem? Um, you go through a lot of uh, life relationships and when you're constantly told, you know, constant words of you're distant, you're detached, you're unemotional. Um, I basically started to create two personalities that sort of scared me. And what I mean by that, for the last 10 years or so, I started to work 12, 14, 16 hour days and I thought that was work ethic. But after a while and after relationships and being told the same thing all the time, I started realizing I just felt more comfortable at only at work or when I was by myself. As Brian mentioned, you know, for a guy that was considered a fairly social guy, I'd find myself at the grocery store ducking people that I knew just because I wasn't in the mood. And, you know, and after a while you start realizing I spend all the time by myself if I'm not at work. And that's when I started to realize that, you know, maybe I had a problem. Uh, what made me come to a Valentis originally, um, I had tried all the therapies. I mean, I've when I started realizing there was maybe an issue, I've tried the talk therapies, I've done the Hoffman program, I've read more, enough books to probably uh, start my own library. Um, first, uh, I was actually fortunate enough to work with Jeff Cornell uh, when he was with the NHL, I was his actual trainer. Uh, and I was uh, working with Jeff when he played in St. Louis when he had his, his major concussion and started to see the effects that it had on him. Um, so seeing his story and then, um, as we said, sometimes you don't fight the universe. Uh, I decided to start pushing myself a little harder. I decided to join um, Toastmasters. And on my very first meeting at Toastmasters, um, the other gentleman who was his first night happened to be Brian Ewell. Um, I had been told the story of Brian, never had met him. And after he got up and, and we didn't get a chance, I came in late to the meeting. And when he spoke and told the story, um, it sort of realized, wow, I was actually meant to be put in this room with this guy. So and again, thanks for sharing your story, Brian. Um, what I've done outside of this, um, luckily being a nutritionist for the last 20 years, um, I put a lot of attention into my brain when I realized I had a problem. So when we talk about supplementation, um, fish oil, I've left you a little pamphlet, but fish oil is the biggest deficiency in the North American diet. And definitely getting a quality fish oil into your brain is the most important thing you could possibly do as far as supplementation goes. Uh, that and drinking more water, um, still the most efficient thing. I think the doctors would uh, uh, explain if uh, everybody drank an extra liter of clean water a day it would change the world uh, very quickly. So um, the good thing with Valentis that I found most exciting where compared to some of the talk therapies and other things you do when you don't really have, you don't know how you feel, you come out, you read a book, you think, wow, that was great. And it's hard to say, do I feel any better? Have I learned anything from this? With the Valentis, they come out and you actually get paperwork to, that you can mirror against what, you know, what I looked like two weeks ago. Uh, and we've seen almost an 80% reduction, I think, in some of the frequencies, which is pretty huge. She basically explained, and explains why I was agitated and had anxiety of that. She said, it's like you have 20 TVs cranked up in your brains. Kind of rambled a little bit here tonight, guys, and didn't expect to be uh, so many people here to talk in front of, but um, I'm here just to try to share a story. You know, he asked me 10 years ago if I'd be standing up in front of you guys telling you that I've, you know, have a brain injury. It's not really what I'd expected to be doing, but you know, if this absolutely helps one person, I know I see some friends, a former teammate up there, um, take the next step, you know, continue to educate yourself about the options, you know, look at your nutrition, you know, exercise, but you know, you only have one brain and, and definitely don't, you know, put it to use. So hope, hope someone's helped from this. Thank you.